Hello guys. So this is how I made the render for this fitting. So in SolidWorks, the first thing I did is on my material, I just make sure I applied the material to this outside face and I applied a different material to the inside face because this outside face is going to be like a forged material and when you mention the edge, the edge is going to and the inside is going to have a shiny part. So I just made two different material for those those faces and that's all I did in SolidWorks. So once I saved it and we're just going to import that into visualize. So I'm just going to drag my part in there. And now I'm going to select the geometry appearance and I'm going to instead of doing the automatic I imported it by the appearance and I click OK. So, so now the first thing I do is just snap it to floor and um, under the preview options and I always enable the floor shadow and reflection. And from this point on it's just finding a good camera view you like. So I have one camera view that I made so I'm just going to load that. So I'm going to go down load my camera I think it's this one and so that's my camera view for my appearance as you can see I only have two appearance um, one for the mansion still and the other one for the carbon still and solid was visualized as like a forged material that I found so I just used that so I'm going to go into my library and and under my appearance and under the metal, I, I, there is a forged material, forged metal that was in, in SolidWorks Visualize. So I used that, but I edited it a little bit. But I'll show you the settings. So I'm just going to add the forge, the forged metal to that body and the machine to the inside. So as you can see, the forge is on the outside, and that edge has kind of like the finish, the surface finish. So and I'll just right click, delete the one the appearance that I was that I'm not using. And this is just pretty much my setting for this. I changed the roughness to 75 and I'm um, just using no, a forged normal bump map. And under this texture mapping, I'm going to change that to box. And now you can see the definition is much clear. And for the machine, it's the same thing. I, I um, this one doesn't have any texture mapping because it's just I just made it because I want it as smooth just to give it that shiny part and I'm also gonna change that texture map into box and from here on now I just need to do is change the scene so I like the I'm going to go into my library under the environment I like this white panel scene. It seems to work better for most of the project I work on. So that is what the scene looks like now. So yeah, you can just rotate the the camera to get the color you want. So I think I like um, this, something like that. And the next thing I did is just hide the background and I can load a, a new backplate and that was pretty much how I rendered this um, fitting um, thank you and please feel free to leave your comment if there's any way I could have improved it uh, please feel free to let me know thank you and have a nice day I would show you the render once it's completed thank you bye